things. So now I have a couple other fun things to share and just talk about. Um, okay, number one is I wanted to thank everybody who has been so kind to Smiling because we got over like 15,000 streams, like 10,000 to 15,000 streams in just the first 24 hours. That's crazy. That's crazy, 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 crazy. I honestly did not think that was gonna happen. I was thinking we were gonna hit more like 5,000 to 7,000, but we did it. And so thank you so much because to me, I was real. I'm honestly, I was super nervous to put out this song because to me, this is like by far my most vulnerable song that I've ever released, and it's really important to me. And it's really about a real raw time in my life and just what I've been through. And even it's super fun to release it, but it's honestly kind of painful because it's like a lot to share and everything. And so you like listening and supporting and just so many people have DM'd me, like everybody DM me and like said like, oh, I love the song. So thank you so much. Like it, it means the world to me that you like it and just that you're reaching out and just being so kind and so many kind people. And like, you are just the kindest people ever. And I think like you kind people are what's gonna like change the world and you're what gives me hope in the world because I feel like the world can be a terrible place and the world can be a really mean and scary place but like people like you who are just so like unselfish and kind and like would take the time to even DM me like I love your song and just like being so so sweet like you're the people who are gonna change the world and make the world a better place so like keep being you keep spreading that kindness and just being honest and you will get everything you deserve because i don't necessarily believe in karma but i do believe that if you do good things in the end you're not going to regret it and you will be rewarded so you're amazing and thank you and just thank you for listening thank you for caring it really means the world to me and you just you keep me going so thank you and thank you so much to all the amazing lyric channels who have um posted smiling because you don't have to do that but you do and it means the world to me because it really helps me um get the song out there and i just love this song so much so thank you for helping me spread the song because i feel like this is a song that's really important because I feel like it can help people in a way that it makes, I hope it makes you not feel alone because I, it's like the type of thing where when I was going through this, like I wish I had a song like this that I could listen to that like I would really feel in that way because it's like, you know, just if you're going through similar things you know what I mean because it's like when you're going through a hard time it's just like it's hard to feel like anybody gets it and so I hope you feel like the song gets it and like you understand if that makes sense and then story of the cover art I want to talk oh hey over underscore nine oh 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 how are you hope you're doing amazing um made the lyrics oh you made a lyric video thank you so much lyric monster tv Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And thank you to the playlisters, too, who have um, put the song on their playlist. I really, really appreciate it. And just thank you to everybody supporting and sharing the song and just being really, really awesome. I really appreciate it. We got the choreo for it. Oh, my gosh, going live in just over two hours. It's amazing. The song, the lyrics are beautiful. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And I can't wait to see your choreography. I love your channel, and I love what you do so much, and I love your YouTube channel so so much and I definitely can't wait to check it out for sure it's gonna be awesome so thank you so much for the support it just it means the world to me and I'm so happy that you like the song so thank you and I can't wait to keep you know putting out more songs soon and it's gonna be really really fun so I'm excited anyways I want to talk a little bit about the story behind the artwork just a little bit so basically it's purple and pink because those are the colors or the themes of the song and then i have two um cheerleaders 
in the front and it's me as a cheerleader when I was a cheerleader for Hall Halloween like a long time ago because I always wanted to be a cheerleader but I actually do have a cheerleading experience which is coming tomorrow because tomorrow will be Spirit Sunday and all about cheerleading and I will be sharing my cheerleading experience so you don't want to miss that and anyways basically I have the cheerleader and in those um, photos I'm so so happy even in when I have um, pink sunglasses on I'm smiling I have the pom-poms just like very very happy and then in the back there's another photo of me very sad and I don't even know if you can see it because it's completely blurred out and then I have some emojis that are like sad crying face but they're basically the way is it blends in with the artwork because it's basically supposed to be somewhat of a metaphor about how it's what you see on the outside and you see these things on the outside and somebody's smiling really happy but you don't know that on the inside of that happy face is actually a lot of sadness because truly I think every single one of us in the world deal with sadness you know and it's a obviously on different levels and depending with what we're going through, our life situations, blah, blah, blah. But all that's a universal feeling that all of us have felt before. And so no matter how happy somebody seems on the outside, they've dealt with sadness too. It's like everybody gets it. And that's why when you feel sad, I think sometimes we feel alone and like we're not supposed to feel sad and like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But it is a natural emotion that everybody feels. Are you planning on making another song? Many songs, many, many, many. I have a lot more songs coming out that I cannot wait to share with you, and I really hope you like it. When was the last time you recorded the song since you said you recorded during the first wave of COVID? Um, that was in November, but yeah, the last time I recorded a song was uh, about three weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, and that song is like, I cannot wait to share that one with you. Um, it's going to be, uh, that one's coming at some point soon-ish, not that soon, um, but I'm really, really excited to share that one with you. It's very, very special. Remember I said that. Wink. And it's like, it was something I was so going through at the moment, so it was like the most therapeutic thing for me ever. Um, it's always, it's okay to feel emotion always. Yes, absolutely. I agree. So many of us are scared of emotion but it's a part of life and the truth is when you put that emotion down sometimes it just makes it worse and although I do believe that it's not always good to like totally focus on your emotions because sometimes focusing on it you can overanalyze it and it can make it worse I still do think it's good to not like hide it and you know get it out get it out you know um you're so talented keep going and never give up oh my gosh you're so sweet Malatha underscore can we thank you for being so sweet you're like again like I said you're the people who just give me hope in life and I love your song so much thank you so much for listening thank you so much I'm so so happy that you like the songs like it it means the world to me that you like the songs because I love music I love making music it's honestly like my favorite thing to do in the world so I'm so happy that you like it and thank you so much for listening um and yeah and then just a little bit more that I just wanted to talk about was smiling just very very quickly is what it's really about and what it changed for me from the beginning um basically originally and I'm gonna do this in parts but this is just a little bit for today of what my original vision for a song was and um if you write songs you probably know this a lot of times when you write songs it's like you have an idea for a song but then it ends up changing and going a different direction or things just change in your life or whatever um to be honest caroline all your songs have been full of amazing lyrics oh thank you so much because i love lyrics so that means the world to me so thank you and emotions of beautiful thank you so much because i always want to make my lyrics like as meaningful as possible because I think lyrics are just like so important in a song and for me I've always listened for lyrics so thank you I'm so happy that you like that I'm always trying to get better at lyrics you know because it's just 
a great way to communicate to the world. And it's such a beautiful way through song lyrics to like communicate what you get to say to the world, which is the power of music and the power of singing and songs. And it's just such a powerful, like music is just so powerful. Music's amazing. It's like the best thing that, to ever exist. Like it's truly a gift from God. Even in the Bible, it like talks about how singing is like, and songs are just such a gift. And I really do believe that. Um, and she thinks, aw, thank you so much. Um, and you deserve way more than this. And I stand you for following your dreams. Aw, thank you. You are so sweet and supportive. I really appreciate the support. You're like the best ever. Aw, keep going. Aw, thank you. Thank you for being so sweet. I really appreciate the support. The support and the love is like so, so kind and so refreshing. So thank you. I love you. Like, I love you so, so, so much. Like, I really do. Like, genuinely, I love you so much. Um, but anyways, my original vision for the song, basically my original vision for the song was, um, and where basically I just wanted to talk about like what sparked the idea because I talked about how like, um, a long time ago when I was like 14, 15, um, how I like first had that idea of like, I'm smiling on the outside dying on the inside like and that was like all I had at first but just from where that idea came from and what made me want to write a song about that I love you way more trust me I don't think that's possible I think I love you more I do because you're so sweet and just so kind and I love that kindness and that sweetness and I just love kind people oh thank you twinkle underscore Sarah too oh you're so sweet you're so sweet I've seen you for a while so thank you so much for sticking around. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're very, very sweet and very kind. Um, but yeah, so basically the first, basically the reason why I first came up with that idea is just because at the time I felt very isolated. So it was mainly about that isolation, even though it wasn't during COVID, it was before COVID, but it was, I just felt very misunderstood by the people around me because I think it's so hard and it's gotten a little bit better with like social media in the world and being able to see a lot of people. Well, in some ways it's gotten worse, but in some ways it's gotten better. But that's a whole nother rant. We don't need to go there today. But anyways, it's like when you're born in, in the life, like you just get to be around the people who you get to be surrounded by and they mold you. And it's like what school you go to and the people at your school and how the people at your school think and how they feel and you don't get and you get in that bubble of whatever your life is and you don't necessarily get to see the rest of the world and what their experience and for me I feel like I was in a place where like just at school and just in my life everybody in my I was just very different than everybody in my life you know like just the like because I always loved music I was always a little bit more creative you know me I can be like a little neurotic I just had different I had different things going on I just didn't feel like I fit in at all and I just felt like really like an outsider and I just didn't feel like anybody understood me and I didn't feel like there was anybody that I could talk to and um, I felt like if I was going through a really difficult time just like nobody cared and nobody wanted to hear it and I just felt like such a burden to people if I was to be like I'm really struggling with this right now or like I'm just like not very happy right now or I'm not feeling like this so I really didn't feel like I could talk to anybody and so I just felt like I had to smile and so I did that a lot of just like trying to make everything look perfect or look good just because like I didn't want people to worry about me or I didn't want people to judge me for going through a difficult time or I didn't want to look weird or I didn't want people to think I was like a freak or a loser so it was just so much easier to just put on a smile in that polished face so that is where the original idea came from and stemmed from I know it's sad but don't worry, I feel like I'm in a much better place now. So, thank you, God, for that. Definitely a lot of praying involved in that. Um, it's so different listening to your songs and creating routines. I love how you create routines. It's amazing. What's amazing about your songs is they are so wonderful. You can connect with your 
meaning to your feelings. Oh, thank you so much. That's amazing. Because I think dance is another amazing form of um, expression. And you really get to express when you're dancing and like with your whole body. And I think the connection between music and dance is also so beautiful because I think a dance to a song can really make it come alive and like you can even feel the meaning of the music even more through the dance because dance is just such a powerful tool and like I always encourage everybody to dance like even if you're not a good dancer I just personally don't think it even matters if you're a good dancer or you're a bad dancer because I think everybody should do it I just think it's such an impression um such an expression and so fun and even if just you dancing is dancing alone in your bedroom and just like letting whatever moves come out even if you look crazy and people would totally judge you like who cares you're expressing yourself and that is so beautiful and so awesome and i love it anyways that was smiling saturday thank you so much for joining hope you have a great rest of your day and i will see you tomorrow for spirit